Workers believed they'd found a muddy puppy, but clean it off and got a shocking surprise. There's a reason why it's not advised to roam around construction sites, especially for young children and people with pets. In the spring of 2012, a group of builders working at a construction site in London accidentally found an abandoned animal that desperately needed help. The construction site was in the middle of Cannery Wharf, an area in London prominently known for its skyscrapers. Therefore, amid the tall, modern buildings, no one would ever suspect the presence of wildlife, and neither did the construction workers. The discovery was unlike anything they had ever made. The day was going quite regularly for the builders until they spotted a lump of moving mud in one of the holes on the side. As a result, they were startled and dropped their tools to have a closer look at what the thing might be. Upon seeing it, it seemed like a puppy who was trying to make a sound as well, but the dense, thick coat of mud made it quite difficult. The puppy couldn't move much either and was clearly asking for help. The group of construction workers carefully picked the animal up, and because of being covered in multiple layers of mud and other construction liquids, it was hard to tell if the puppy had any serious injuries or wounds underneath. Also, no one knew for how long it had been stuck in the hole, whether it had any access to food, water, or even proper ventilation. There were dozens of questions that was starting to arise, and although the builders were no experts in animal rescue, they were sure of one thing. The puppy needed to be taken to the nearest animal shelter or vet clinic immediately. Considering the urgency of the situation, the builders drove off to the nearest animal hospital they could find, which was in South Essex Wildlife Hospital, a registered animal charity founded by Sue Schwar in 1995. The Wildlife Rescue serves as a rehabilitation center for all kinds of mammals, birds, and even reptiles. Thanks to the highly trained and devoted veterinary staff and volunteers at this hospital, every animal here is welcome and taken care of in the best way. Therefore, when the puppy covered in mud was brought to the South Essex Wildlife Hospital, it received the kind of professional care that he truly deserved. But that's not all. Soon it was revealed that the helpless animal wasn't a puppy after all. After being carefully cleaned and treated, the animal could be seen in its true, pure form. When the hospital staff and the builders saw it after the prolonged bath, their eyes widened with surprise. Showcasing its flawless and distinctive red fur was a four-month-old red fox, which was later given the name Mudsy. For the next few weeks, the vets at South Essex helped Mudsy regain his health so that he was strong, fit, and energetic, similar to other red foxes his age. Upon learning about his rescue story, founder Shu Shuar especially thanked the builders and gave them credit for saving Mudsy's life. In a brief interview with Daily Mail in 2012, she stated, It would certainly have been a pretty awful death if it hadn't been found. It was very cold and in shock, but is fine now. We felt very sorry for him because he was completely caked and was absolutely petrified. The builders were doing some groundwork on the site, and there was a couple of holes left open. None of us knew how long he had been down that hole. It could have been all weekend. It's certainly true that what the construction workers did to save Mudsy's life was nothing less than heroic. We should also keep an eye out for wild animals in distress, especially in locations and sites that can be dangerous for them. After all, Mudsy's story wasn't the only one where a small innocent animal was found alone and helpless in a place that wasn't suitable for it.